Hello everyone. What we're going to do here is a classic calculus problem where we have a curve given by y equals the square root of x and a point, and we're trying to find a, the point on the curve closest to the point. All right, let me draw a picture so that that might be, you know, make more sense what I just said. So I am drawing y equals square root of x. In my head, I'm plotting some points. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect at all, but on the other hand, I sort of want to get something that looks like the graph. Square root of zero is zero. The square root of one, oops, put in one. The square root of one is equal to one. Put in four, the square root of four is equal to two. So I put in some perfect squares so I can sketch the graph, get some good points. Okay. So this is the graph of y equals the square root of x. I mean, it keeps, it keeps going. And uh, just so it's, it's part of the graph. So that's y equals the square root of x. And then I have another point, which is um, 3, 0. OK. So I have this point, 3, 0. I have y equals the square root of x. And what I want to do is I want to draw a what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line segment from the point to the curve and I'm going to label this point on the curve xy and the distance of that line segment I'm calling d and what I want to do is I want to find x and y such that d is a minimum and what I do is I need to write down a formula which is the distance formula and that distance formula perhaps is familiar to people. D equals the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. I What I want to do is, okay, you know, this is calculus. We're going to have to take the derivative. But if I look at the square root, I'm thinking, well, I don't really like that derivative that much. <clears throat> I mean, I love that derivative, but I'm saying that it's going to be a difficult derivative, a little bit more difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides. So I have d squared equals x1 minus x2 squared. By the way, the way I, I like to write this, which is a more compact way, is to write d squared, which kills the square root. And I'll have, for x1 minus x2, I just write delta x squared plus delta y squared. That's one way to just write the distance formula. In this situation, the derivative or the, the, the change x1 minus x2 is x minus 3. And the change in y is y minus 0. So I have d squared equals x minus 3 squared plus y squared. Now what we want, now we have d expressed in terms of x and y. What we're going to do is we're going to eliminate one of the variables so that d is only expressed in terms of one of the variables. And which variable should I get rid of x or y? Well, I'm going to look at our constraint. The constraint is that y equals the square root of x. Now, which implies, it implies that y squared equals x, where y is greater or equal to 0. So I'm going to replace y squared by x. So I get d squared equals x minus 3 squared plus x. And I just call that function, I call that f of x. This problem might seem familiar, right? It's really similar to another problem we, we just did. And, and then now what I do is I find the critical points. Well, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to find x so that this function is a minimum value. That x is going to make d squared a minimum value, which in turn makes d, the distance, a minimum value. This is a quadratic. Do you want to find the minimum of a quadratic? if it's an upward facing quadratic, which this one is because it's x squared, positive x squared. To find the minimum quadratic, you can just find the vertex and not have to use calculus anyway. 
So be a good problem to put in a, um, you know, pre-calc class maybe. So the way I'm going to take the derivative is by using the chain rule. I have 2 times x minus 3 to the first power. The derivative of x minus 3 is just 1 plus the derivative of x, which is 1. <coughs> so I'm going to take that derivative to find the critical points or critical numbers. Either way, critical points, critical numbers. I take the derivative and set it equals 0. So that's 2x minus 3 plus 1 equals 0. That's 2x minus 6 plus 1 equals 0. 2x minus 5 equals 0. 2x equals 5. x equals 5 divided by 2. Next, I'm going to turn around and find y. Note that y has to be greater than or equal to 0. But uh, it says y is equal to, going back to our function, y is equal to the square root of x. So it's going to be, going to be the square root of 5 abs. This means the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 2. But 1 over square root of 2 can be expressed as radical 2 over 2. So that's radical 10 over 2. And so the point on the graph I'm going to write a little sentence for whatever reason. The graph of y equals square root of x that is closest to the point 3, 0 is x is 5 halves. That's the first coordinate. The next coordinate is square root of 2 over 10. Sorry, square root of 10 over 2. Anyway, that's our answer. Didn't have to write that whole sentence there. You don't have to summarize it in a sentence, I wouldn't think. And then there's the whole problem if you want to take a screenshot. Do you have any questions? All right. Here's a suggestion. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.